time, but they were just out of range. So I remember it's something I did quite a few years ago, to be honest. So just before I cast, the rod I'm using today is the 10 foot 3 pound Dream Maker. Five hours of try in between the range showers and everything else, we've managed to hook one. I was just saying, but it's spotting over the top, you'll get your runs once you're spotting over the top. Yes! Oh. <laughs> Right, so we're here at a uh, lovely little club water, local to me. Um, I won't disclose the location out of respect to the anglers that fish on here. Um, so we got here late last night, about eight o'clock. Uh, got a couple of rods out, one down my margin to my left, literally four foot off the bank, a few tiger nuts, a few 10 mil boilies. And this one rattled off at about half past three this morning. It's not one of the bigger residents of the lake, but we're off the mark. So we're going to get this one back and then keep an eye on that margin spot because I think it was going to produce some more fish during the day with this sun out and everything. And hopefully we can show you a bigger one later. Right, so all day the fish have been on the top and we've had to improvise um, trying to get one off the top. We ain't got no floater gear with us. And decided to nick my dog's dog biscuits, sticking them in a bit of funnel web and chucking out a hookable floater. So, and after about, what, five hours of trying between the rain showers and everything else, we've managed to hook one. So, hopefully we'll get this one in and we'll be able to show you. And I've gone a little bit quiet because I've gone nervous about getting this one in. That's definitely a better fish. Come on. Oh, it's just up. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> Mate. That's 20. Right, so after spending a good four or five hours trying to catch fish off the top, the wind changed in our direction to be fair, and it's pushed the fish over towards us. And we're not having any surface gear. We've, uh, we've managed to get one off the top. Little uh, little PVA nugget of, uh, well, PVA bag of dog biscuits and a small huckable floater managed to take this one. It took the whole thing in one go. Not quite 20, 19, 13, but I'm not gonna grumble because it's a proper nice common. So, and I still think there's a chance of getting another one off the top as well before it starts raining again. But uh, definitely happy with this one. Right, so I thought we'd just give you an update as to where we are at the minute. Uh, we're currently heading into our second night. Um, we arrived last night at about 8 o'clock p.m. Um, after I'd finished work, come straight down here. Uh, got the rods out, got them all sorted, got the margin rods sorted out, found a few spots out in front that I knew about anyway. Uh, got the rods out and everything, so obviously we showed you that first small fish that we had this morning, it's probably about 10 pound, a nice little 10 pound mirror to start with. But during the first part of the day, the sun was out on the water, it was getting really nice and warm, and the fish decided to come up onto the top. We could see 25, 30 fish quite easily, just sat on the top milling around doing nothing. Sorry, it's got a liner. And uh, so, but we had no floater gear. So we decided to uh, improvise a little bit. Uh, so to say, so uh, I got, somehow I got some soft duckable floaters in my bag from somewhere, I don't know where from, but fishing with 12 pound line and 10 foot 3 pound dream maker, it's not ideal surface fishing gear, but after a bit of to and fro with the fish, chasing them around, chucking the baits in front of them and stuff like that, still not getting anywhere, they were just out of our range because we had no floats or anything to chuck out. So I remember something that I did quite a few years ago to be honest and uh, luckily I had my dog with me again and I'll use the dog biscuits and put them into some funnel web which is just literally just added weight for casting out into the, into the lake so it's not a great deal of weight in that it's probably 
not even an ounce, to be honest, but it gave me enough weight to cast 25, 30 yards, so 25 yards, so it gave me that extra distance. And then like literally, I think it was the third cast, I saw a group of fish milling around on the surface, cast this out, it dropped just behind him, so I'd left it. I thought that was, that'll do, leave it. So we left it. And this fish just turned around, came round. The bag was just there. The bag ain't even melted. Came up, sucked the whole bag in, and struck, struck into it. And uh, what resulted was the 19 pound 13 ounce common, which was an absolute beauty. Really, I'm really pleased with that. So we're just going into the final night now, and uh, it's looking good to be honest out there. There's, there's fish showing everywhere. Um, we're getting liners, so fingers crossed we'll get some more in the night and if we get them in the night we'll show you them and if we don't get anything else until the morning hopefully we'll get a few then we can show you a few more fish in the morning. Right so we're now on our final morning, um, we didn't get anything last night apart from a horrible snotty slimy bream but it showed that the spots were, were clean, the rigs were working um, it's unfortunate you didn't get visited by any carp. We're packing up in a couple of hours. We're going to hang it out till about one o'clock um, just to see if we can sneak one. I've had a few liners on my margin rod to my left and hopefully that might produce me uh, a bite today. Uh, but we've learned a lot. We've learned a lot since we've been here. We've been constantly watching the water uh, just to see where the fish like to be at certain times of the day certain weather, certain winds, and the next time when we come back, we'll keep that in mind, and it'll give us a better, a better idea and a better chance of getting on fish uh, quicker and hopefully getting more bites next time. So if we don't come back to you with anything off this morning, at the end of the session, then we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.